Okay. Hello. <laughs> hey everybody, it's John, AKA Smelly from, I'm down here in Evansville, Indiana at uh, More Music at moreguitars.com. And today we are checking out a couple of Mesa Boogie pedals. But to be honest, today is a little bit of a first reaction to these pedals. They did get a little bit of time just now when we we're setting up. What we got today is a Dynaplex. It's the purple one, so it's like a purple plex, purple plexi. That's a lot of peas. If you had a purple pick, I wish I had a purple pick. If I had a purple pick, maybe a pick pouch. Anyways, that's the purple plex. <laughs> purple plex. Sorry. <laughs> this is the gold mine. So this is kind of a take on a plexi style amp, and this is more kind of in more in the boogie territory. Though they say it does also have hints of plexi in it as well. Uh, and they're fairly new pedals. We figured out that they were introduced in, uh, what was it, 2020, mid-2020, but they really didn't start rolling out till a little bit later. And we hadn't seen a lot of information about these on the internet, so we decided to take a deep dive and check them out, see how we feel about them. So uh, I'll just go ahead and say ahead of time, they both impressed me quite a bit. I love gear, so it's, there's a good chance I'm gonna love something, but if I say I really dig in it, that means I actually really dig it. So we're gonna check out this one first, the Purple Plex. It's, per, it's perplexing, it's Purple Plex. It's per, per, Purple Plexed. Anyways, Purple Plex. <laughs> and I'd say it gets definitely into that Plexi range. We're gonna play around with the gain a little bit. Um, this is my sound without the pedal. This is my sound not touching my guitar. This is my clean sound. It's pretty plain Jane, nothing special going on. And we'll kick this on. Everything is basically straight up for the most part. And it's a great combo, right? A Les Paul in, into a pedal that's basically mimicking a, a plexi. So it sounds great. I don't even have to twist any knobs and I think it sounds great, but we're gonna twist knobs because that's what we do. So this is your overall level. Obviously, you gotta give it some level or you won't hear it. Uh, I'm gonna keep the tone controls basically where they are. And really it's, you, you have, you have a tone and then you also have a presence. So just like on an amp, you know, we'll play around with that. The presence, be honest, a lot of times on amps, I use, usually use the presence pretty low, um, especially this guitar is, this is my guitar, by the way. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Um, it has a pretty biting bridge pickup. So I tend to use, keep my presence control on my amp mm, fairly low, sometimes all the way off depending. We'll just keep the level where it is and we'll play with the gain. So even with the gain all the way down, it's still pretty, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna bring the tone up just a little bit. I think that sounds phenomenal. Um, you take this and put like a TS style pedal in front of it. You'd be playing classic rock hits all day long. I'll bring the tone back. I'm gonna go ahead and start bringing the gain up. Let's just do it. Let's go. Let's see how far, how much gain we've got on tap. Back to where we started from, straight up. Let's keep bumping that up. Now 
Well, it's getting pretty gainy. We're gonna keep going. We're getting into territory where I don't usually use this much. Very music in. This is my initial reactions. So you're talking like some hot rotted plexis there. I'm going for it. I'm going all the way up, everybody. Here it comes. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty fun. Uh, we'll play with the presents. Let's play with the presents a little bit. Everybody likes presents, Christmas presents. Too biting for me. Some of you might be like, yes, that's it. And maybe with a different pickup. Here, we'll come up to my incredibly, so this is incredibly bright pickup. My neck pickup is like the polar opposite. It is incredibly dark, so. That's it. I have found the secret, so. That sounds great. So I, I've learned something today. All I have to do then when I switch pickups on my rig is run back and turn the presence control all the way up every time I want to use the neck pickup. That won't at all be a problem for me. Okay, that's pretty cool. Cleans up pretty well, so this guitar, when I pull back the volume, it, it gets a little muddy. I don't have like a treble bleed or anything on it. Um, and I've got my tone control all the way up. Tell you what, let's go back to like, not quite extreme, but pretty heavy. So it cleans up pretty well. Pretty cool. All right, that was fun. I dig it. I actually, I'm not kidding. I really do dig it. Okay, the gold mine. Let's see what we got. Let's go everything straight up on this. It's got more of the boogie DNA in it, but has what they said was kind of hints or the complex over and undertones of a plexi. So it's catchphrases here, but um, what does it sound like? It's all that matters. Again, this is what I'm starting with. Pretty clean. So it's pretty, that's pretty darn good. Um. <laughs> That's pretty darn good. Okay, let's uh, let's just play around with it a little bit. Same thing. Let's just uh, I'm gonna leave the level alone. You know, that's just the volume. Let's play with the gain. Let's see what we're starting with with the gain all the way down. That's pretty awesome just even at the lowest setting. For my style of playing, most things that I do, I wouldn't, I don't actually use much more gain than that. It's pretty, it's nice though. I mean, it's, you know. Larry was asking if that felt amp-like to me. It, it, I don't wanna make big, bold statements, but yeah.
it's darn near pretty. And it's a distortion pedal or overdrive pedal, or I don't know if they're calling these amps in a box or not, but you could. All right, lowest setting. It's time to have some fun. Here we go. Let's bring it up to about nine o'clock. Pretty cool. We'll go back to where we started, straight up. And here we go. We're going into no man's land here. Ooh, about two o'clock. We'll go a little bit further. Uh, about three o'clock. We're going for it, everybody. Cover your private bits. Okay, so it's maxed out, and it is a lot of gain, but it's... I can use it. I mean, I don't play with that much gain, and I wouldn't have any problem with that. Yeah, but what about on my dark neck pickup? It's still pretty dark, right? But we have three tone controls here. So let's not let's not ignore those. I'm going to leave it up the gain pretty high because I think it sounds awesome. By the way, there is an internal switch on this too from what I read that um, you can control the Do you remember what it was that controls? The inter Huh? The <laughs> So Larry said the internal switch controls the weather. Well, somebody's got it on pretty crappy weather today. So we're going to take it apart and flip it up to 68 degrees and sunshine, which is perfect for me. Um, Larry is going to discover what that is. And on the screen, it'll say this is what the internal switch does. Was it the mids, maybe? Anyway, I'm very new to this pedal. I'm going to leave it, though, right here. I. I really, the gain on this is pretty fantastic sounding, and we'll play around with the tone controls. So uh, I'm on my dark neck pickup. Let's see if we can bring it to life by adding some highs and cutting out some of the lows. A little more highs, maybe a little bit more mids too, and then some more of the lows out. Taking the lows completely out. What happens if we take the mids all the way out? <laughs> Still sounds pretty good, actually. It's funny. Let's push the mids. Bring the gain back. Pushing the mids all the way up, which is not something I normally do. It's pretty brash, but I'm telling you, that's actually a pretty good sound for cutting in a lot. If you play with a lot of gain, um, you may have noticed this when you're playing with other people, sometimes it gets kind of hard to hear yourself. It's nice to have, you know, mids on a pedal or on an EQ or something to kind of push it. That way, you don't necessarily have to get louder. You can just kind of push those mids and maybe the highs just a little bit, and it helps cut a little bit better. Um, I run fairly, fairly bright. I don't always push the mids all the way up, but 
It just depends on what amp I'm playing as well. So let's go back to my bright bridge pickup and see what that does. So it's pretty bright, but it's still actually pretty usable. So it's not just sitting here with this and running into an amp. It's an effective EQ. They're not, it's not huge, huge changes. And for some people that's great that you just want to make subtle changes. For some people, they really, they want there to be like this incredible range of sweep. So you can take that for whatever it is. We'll play around with how well it cl cleans up as well. So I'm going to go back to, I really like it about there, about three o'clock. I'm playing touchy-feely stuff on this heavy distortion pedal. It's pretty. Don't even know what I'm doing now, just making it up. So that's with the gain all the way up, or almost all the way up. So it cleans up great. I mean, you can go from not completely clean, not completely, right? Keep in mind too, this is with a humbucker as well. So it's going to drive it fairly hard even with the volume pulled back. And just, that's awesome. It is more gain that I would typically play with, but I might just have to get into a whole new style of music for myself. This is really fantastic. These are awesome. Um, I'm curious then to go check out some more <laughs> with Mesa Boogie pedals, so that's pretty cool. Um, if it seems like I've had a good time with these, it's because I have. I am completely, absolutely delighted with them. Um, I'm getting ready to take a picture of them, send them to my wife with the please, 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 and she's gonna say no. So that's, uh, that's my obligatory wife joke of the day. Um, she's gonna say no, but I'm gonna still say please, 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 and she's gonna say no. So yeah, they're awesome. These are pretty fantastic. Like I said, I don't know if Mesa Boogie refers to them as amps in a box. I think you could. Uh, they both, to me, are pretty amp-like. They the, the gain in them, to me, is very amp-like. Again, so I just want you to, again, this is what I started with. It's a nice sounding amp. You know, it's a nice sounding clean amp. We've got it set very low, so we're not even really getting any character of the tube. Plain Jane, not awful, but pretty plain. And these just, I mean, it really, you're getting all the tones coming from the pedal. It is, that's very plexy. I would probably give it maybe a little bit more of this. And then the, the gold mine, and every time I push it, my chair moves, which is kind of fun. Yeah, so this one, pretty gainy try to balance the volume. And 
this one just kind of takes it up a notch. Honestly, if, I, if someone was to say, pick one, the one that you like the best without playing it, I probably would say the Plexi. I, I really am I honestly completely smitten with this gold line. I think it sounds phenomenal. What Larry says we need, though, is we need to put a fuzz pedal in front of it, and then it's going to be perfect. I don't know if you all know this about Larry. He loves fuzz pedals, like all of them. He likes as many, so if somebody wants to send some fuzz pedals to Larry, he will happily take them because that's how much he loves fuzz pedals. I'm gonna change his mind on fuzz pedals. I'm having fun with him, but I am going to. Maybe we'll do a video of me trying to change my mind on fuzz pedals, so I don't know. I don't know, we'll see. So that's it. These are awesome. They're pretty fantastic. I could probably sit here and play with these for hours, except for I do have other things I gotta do. If you have questions about either one of these pedals or anything else that they carry here at More Music, please free to call. feel free to call down here, talk to one of the helpful and delightful sales associates. Today's sales associate of the day is gonna be Hannah because it rhymes with banana, and this kind of is almost the color of banana. That's the only reason I have. Um, and if she's not here, any one of the sales associates, they're, they're fantastic and they will happily answer all of your questions in a very calm and uh, patient and professional way. And my name's John, you can call me Smelly. And um, oh, I didn't, the website, sorry. Moreguitars.com. So you can call down here, ask about these pedals or anything else we carry here at Moore. And, uh, or you can just get on the website at moreguitars.com. Links to everything is in the description. My name is John. You can call me Smelly. And that's it. I'm out of here. You're all free to flee.